You know, here at the United Nations, we're working all over the world to prevent conflict, to broker peace, to resolve differences between adversaries. In doing that, mediation is one of the key tools that we draw on. And I'm confident that the new UN guidance for effective mediation will help us succeed. Mediation is, is more than an art. And there has been in recent years an effort to uh, professionalize mediation. The UN guidance to mediate is a very timely document. Um, it's a general framework. Um, it describes a number of fundamentals that mediators would need to take into account in addressing the specific situations um, where they are operating. Obviously, situations differ from one country to another, but there are a set of fundamentals and um, there are principles that need to be applied. Drawing on the collective experiences of the international community, UN guidance for effective mediation constitutes a very important reference document for all the UN mediators and other mediators in the field. The guideline uh, identified eight fundamentals. The, the first is preparedness. I think uh, for any peace uh, effort, for any mediation effort, it is extremely important to ensure that not only the mediation, but also the parties are prepared and the ground is set for the mediation. Another very important fundamental is, of course, uh, inclusiveness, um, the uh, need to bring all parties to the conflict under uh, the, the mediation uh, uh, tent, so to speak. There is always temptation you know, to get an agreement, a peace agreement, between powerful mainstream parties and um, uh, in situations where there are other actors, um, uh, maybe smaller in weight, um, but uh, if they are not included in the process, they could turn into spoilers. This is the reason why you know, I think mediators are much more aware than ever before that although it takes time, more effort to, in to ensure um, inclusivity, at the end of the day, it's good for the sustainability of any mediation effort. And this is what we try to do in the context of Yemen. So we developed this uh, United Nations Guidance for Effective Mediations for the United Nations mediation efforts. But let's do not forget that more and more increasingly we see that member states, regional organizations and sub-regional organizations are getting involved, getting more interested in mediation efforts all over the world. In fact, the General Assembly encouraged all the member states and regional organizations to promote the use of mediation in their areas and, of course, benefit themselves of this guidance.